G'day. Here's a picture of 12 dots. And the count of 12 is really nice, because with 12 dots, I can make all sorts of rectangles of dots. For example, I could arrange these 12 dots into a 3 by 4 rectangle. That would be all 12. Lovely. There's a lovely 3 by 4 rectangle of dots with the count of 12. I can also do a 4 by 3, so turn around 90 degrees, and there's another rectangle I can make with 12 dots, a 4 by 3 rectangle. I can also do a 2 by 6 rectangle. Here goes. Uh, 2 by 6, there it is. That is, 12 dots make it also make a 2 by 6 rectangle. Or turn it around, a 6 by 2 rectangle. Lots of different options with 12 dots. This is kind of marvellous. In fact, I can also do, I don't know, this is a bit questionable, but a 1 by 12 rectangle. I don't know if I'll call that a rectangle. Some people might say yes, some people might say no. Okay, it's certainly like a degenerate rectangle. I can certainly make that as well. Or turn it around and make it a 12 by 1. That's another option I have here with 12 dots, 12 by 1. So I can certainly make these degenerate ones, but I've got so much flexibility with 12 dots, I can actually make other rectangles as well. Lots of rectangles I can make with 12 dots. Great! But not all numbers are as flexible and as kind as the number 12. For example, if I add another dot to my picture and make it 13 dots, so here goes, make this 13 dots by adding another dot to my picture, and then suddenly you realize, ooh, 13 is quite resistant to making rectangles. I mean, I can certainly make the degenerate one, you know, 1 by 13, here goes 6, 9, 12, 13. I can do the 1 by 13, and I can do the 13 by 1, and if you think about this, that's kind of it. I can't make any other rectangles of dots with 13 dots. Hmm, 13 is obstinate. It's being obstinate, it doesn't want to make rectangles. Okay, so the word for an obstinate number like this is prime. Prime. A number is prime if, with that count of dots, you can only make these basic degenerate rectangles. So 13 is an example of a prime number. 12, you can make lots of different rectangles of 12. You can actually make the degenerate ones, 12 by 1, 1 by 12, and many more. This is actually a very friendly number, and people call this a composite number. In America, they call it composite. In Australia, you call it composite number. But it's called composite number in nonetheless. All right, so that's what a prime number is. It's a number that's resistant to making rectangles if you have that many dots. And the list of prime numbers is actually kind of curious. If you play with them, you realize that two dots only makes those degenerate rectangles. With three dots, you can only make those degenerate rectangles. With five dots, seven dots, 11 dots, 13 dots, 17 dots, 19 dots, 23 dots, 29 dots, 31 dots. There's a list of prime numbers like that. There's the prime numbers. Now, I did miss one number here. Somebody might say, if you've only got one dot, how many rectangles can you make with one dot? Well, this is kind of like extra, extra degenerate. I mean, one dot could be a one by one rectangle. Hmm, so this seems like different. This actually seems different, because normally with you know, 13 dots, I can at least make two degenerate rectangles. One is going to make one degenerate rectangle. And a lot of people don't include one in the list of primes. It seems special in its own right. And here's the real reason why people don't actually usually include one in the list of primes today. Because these prime numbers are actually the building blocks of all numbers. For example, I could write 10 as a product of two primes. It's 2 times 5. These primes build the number 10. The number 11, well, is just the prime number 11. Number 12, I can think of as 2 times another 2 times a 3. It's built off of, of those primes. 13 is just 13, it's its own prime. 14 is built from 2 times 7, 2 times 7. 15 is built from 3 times 5, 3 times 5. 16 is built from a whole bunch of 2s, 2 times 2 times 2 times 2, and so on. Every number is built from primes. And it turns out, every number is built from primes in essentially only one way. You can't build 10 with any other primes other than a single 2 and a single 5. You can't build 14 from any other prime except for a single 2 and a single 7, and so on and so on. However, if I included number, the number 1 in my list of prime numbers, then there's going to be lots of ways to build 10 all of a sudden. I can think of it as 2 times 5. I can think of it as 1 times 2 times 5. 1, 2, and 5. I can think of it as 1 times 1 times 2 times 5. 1, 1, 2, 5. In fact, the list goes on. So if you don't include one in your list of primes, that turns out there's only one way to make 10 from the primes, one way to make 11 from the primes, one way to make 12 from the primes, and so on. This is the reason why people usually exclude the number 1 from the list of prime numbers.
But there we are. There's the list of prime numbers. These are all the numbers that resist making rectangles. They only make those degenerate rectangles, and that's it.